guys, as you can see, the sun is about to set. Wow, the beauty in the village, as you can see from the other side. Hi guys, I think that song is usually sung when you're welcoming people. Maybe they, for example, when a woman gets gets married to somewhere, and now she comes back to no no. Well, now the family where the girl comes from, they go visiting her wherever she's married to. So when they reach there, they start singing like this. That means like uh wabu mona. Like uh, how can I say it? Any Korean in the com tell me in the comment section. I don't know how to say it, but whatever it means is like where the kid where where the girl comes from, they have come to say hi. They're just giving them a message that they've arrived. They have a right to come and say hi to their kids and they are, that's how they, are, they get welcomed. So when they or when when a wedding is happening and they come, that's what they, they sing when they are arriving at the compound. I hope it's making sense and I hope you're understanding what I'm saying. So apart from that, hey guys, hey beautiful people, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My good name is Janet Boke, and if it's your very first time here, welcome. Welcome to my space. Can you remember to subscribe, like my videos, comment down below. Tell me what you think about this channel, you know? And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you. Thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos. I really appreciate the love and support you guys. Thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos. Uh, remember to like, comment down below share my videos you know i really appreciate your support so guys on today's video as you can see it's very late in the evening actually it's around 6 30 and as a girl in the village obviously the routines that you have to, to do before it gets late first of all you have to ensure all the utensils are inside i've already put them inside the remaining ones are dirty then when after Finishing supper, we'll wash them together, you know. So whatever we're going to do today, uh, the, the firewood here are not yet well dried. So we're going to cut some of the firewood. And maybe we can chat more, bring cows in, the, in their shed inside here for 
we clean it in the morning so as for now it's clean you know like you you don't sweep it like but you remove all the cow dung, you know yeah so we're gonna do that and we're gonna go get some firewood from the farm then maybe later if the moon will be there i can see the half moon right now uh when the moon will be there like it's bright it's dark but bright maybe we can sweep or maybe sweep in the morning but for now the main aim is just to ensure that the utensils are in water is in the house and you have to go and bring firewood so that by the time you're cooking supper or dinner you have everything ready yeah so guys uh, as you can see i have a new hairstyle i tried doing this hairstyle for the first time i hope you like it and yes so i think whatever i have to do right now is just go and bring the panga so that we can head to the farm it's a bit coldish windy but the lo the lovely part of it i can hear cows grazing on the other side you know the the bells that ring and some kids playing on the other side and the fresh air that comes with it you know and that's best feeling ever you know yeah so guys i'm gonna go back to the house bring the panga then you can head there So I guess we'll use this one, we'll use this one to go and cut the firewoods, you know. We have to get the firewoods right now, so that when we're coming to cook, we have some firewoods to use. Yes guys, so we're gonna... I just love how every evening when we are just doing some tasks, you can hear kids singing and playing from the other side. I wish I can go there and show you, but you know not every parent wants their kids to appear on the camera. So let's just do our thing, you know. So this is the way to the farm where we are going to get our fire from. Yes, so you remember the last time I was showing you this area? Uh, there were some kids here that were helping in cutting the you know, that that were helping in cutting out the branches. So they cut the big branches and they leave the small ones. So I'm just going to show you. We are going to cut the small ones. I think it will pass through here. We have a lot of branches. We have a lot of branches on this other side. One thing I know, this one's uh, the last time you saw that in the video, I told you that when they dry, we take some of it and we use them to light the fire. But the remaining one, I believe they're supposed to be burnt all together. You know, because now when they are they don't decompose, they occupy a big space of the land. Can you see? Like the whole of this is occupied with, with this leaf. And some of them might harm the plants, like this one is so young. This is a banana tree. It will grow to be like this one, this big one here. You see? So we have to be careful and as we take care of them. Even we have a tiny one here, still growing. Can you see how it looks? Yeah, so you have to be careful every time. And we have some sugar cane here. You see? The good thing about our land is that it's so productive. You see how it's growing really well. Yes. So, I think we should keep going in front because here we have our fire. We have to be careful on where we are setting. Guys, as you can see, the sun is about to set. Wow. The beauty in the village, as you can see from the other side. It's evening and the sun is about to go down. When the sun goes down. Who read uh, the set book called When the Sun Goes Down? You see, it's really a very beautiful view from this other side. Yeah, so this is the tree that uh, they already cut, but they didn't, they left the branches. 
So, and as you can see, it's very dry. So I have to cut it so that you can make some firewood from it. Yeah, so let's get into business. <laughs> it's usually so hard. Oh. So when you see me taking advantage of them being at home to come cut the trees, just know it's because it's this hard work. You know? You know for the boys they don't feel like this is hard work. Or maybe she'll have used an axe. Maybe she can use an axe to do this. There we go. So when you finish, you just do like this. You cut the small branches. You know? Get the upper ones because they are dry. We told her, don't climb there. 
she decided to go, she didn't listen to us. When she climbed there, she fell down on the stones and hurt her leg. Since then, she has been, she doesn't have a straight leg, so she walks like this, just because of her. So for me, that's why I can't use climbing up. Yes, I can try and climb, but I don't prefer that good. I know how to do it. So for me, I think I, I better cut these ones. But the ones that are not dry, the system for what dry. Yeah, it's better than risking my life. Small branches when they dry up, they become the the fire lighter. Like they, when you want to light up the fire, you start with the small ones, then you put the big. Ones. I think the they are almost enough. So let's cut this one. Then we collect everything we have. We put it there. Then maybe we can go home. This big one, this big one, uh, my big brother will come and carry it from home. It's so big. I don't, think, I don't want to hurt my child. I know I'm a big girl. <laughs> so as a baby girl, I don't want to hurt my child. dark so we have to hurry up so guys I've collected enough firewood mm -hmm. I've collected enough firewood so we're gonna look for something to tie the the firewood together so that we can take them home at least we have enough firewood for now So guys, inside here we have a vegetable that can be used when you are cooking. We have this type of thing. They are called saga. Yeah, exactly those ones. They are called saga. I don't know their name in English, but they are so nice and mostly when Someone is breastfeeding. Someone is breastfeeding on, or when you are sick, they tend to give you these vegetables in plain this because they believe they help you. So guys, I think we use one of these. I don't think we need a panga for this. You just you just take one that's long. You go and put we go and put it down like this. We arrange our fire out. Then we carry it for yeah. so I think this this will be enough because my firewoods are not that much too much. They are just enough. Guys, I'm gonna lay it down like this. Then 
can arrange my fire with I arrange everything that I got from the farm. My fire. I'm gonna go home. It's almost dark. So we have to be very fast. We're gonna take some of this because they help when lighting the fire. that I don't have anything to carry, I'm gonna use this one. I put it here like this and I can carry it. So my trunk is going to be here so that I can carry So guys, let's head home. leave it here because the cow is on the farm. I think I have to chase it away from the farm. Guys, yeah, the, the cow is on the farm. Mom will be so mad when she finds out. Look at that. <laughs>
long last. There is at long last the cow is inside. It's so stubborn. Yeah, the small one sleeps in here. Come see. It sleeps inside here. Oh, even my less almost fall. So the small one sleeps here and the big one is here. So I think it's very late. It's very late, guys. Come, I think we should finish our video so that we can concentrate in the kitchen. And you know, we are using the small solar, and right now the sun was not strong, so it didn't charge well. And we have to, to try using the fire as our source of light. So I think I'm gonna finish this video here. Uh, thank you so much for watching up to this point. You see what? This small boy is happening. Do you know how Una joke is happening? <laughs> he knows how to sharpen and he's so so young. Yeah, but it's like yeah. So guys, thank you so much for watching up to this point. Kindly remember to subscribe, like my videos, comment down below. Tell me which part you love so much about this video. I really wish you could continue with the video, but it's getting dark. And they didn't charge the solar, so we don't have any other sort of light, okay? Yeah, so kindly subscribe to my channel, like my videos, comment down below. I love you all. See you on the next one. Tell me what kind of videos you really love to see from home. And I'll do it for you guys. You know how much I love you and I appreciate you for being here. Your wishes will be my command. Thank you so much. See you on the next video. It's a bye.